Cauley, I'm principal at Art School Namara Tremor in County Waterford. It's a school, co-ed school, with over 1,200 students. We are on a sustainability journey, working towards changing attitudes, training our students to understand the environment and their place that they live. We are making great strides in that direction, but it's a long journey and one that will take takes lots of commitment and drive from both our staff and our students. We are trying to change attitudes through training, working with our students and also through our staff because we believe that they will make the difference in the years to come. My name is Patrick Kerwin. I'm a science and sustainability teacher. I'm also the founding director of the Irish School Sustainability Network or ISSN for short. We're a grassroots movement of teachers and students all across Ireland and we're here to support schools. Teachers in the network trial courses and action projects in their school and they share the resources and what they've learned. In Ord School Namara, we are trialing ISSN initiatives to foster a culture of agency and empowerment. One of the first initiatives we took on with the ISSN was the Climate and Nature Summit, which really helped us foster conversations across the whole school around topics, difficult topics like the biodiversity across Ireland, the drivers towards climate breakdown, and climate psychology. Following the summit, staff and students wanted to know what can we do for more meaningful action, and we began to play the five minutes of sustainability videos. Our students even got to create some of them, which was a really great experience. All of our third years get to participate in the ISSN's Environmental Influencer course. This is an eight week module, and it gives students an overview of what's happening with climate, and nature and it gives them an understanding of the link between what's happening in the media, how that affects public opinion and how that impacts policies and, and politics. And it also gives them an understanding of how social change happens. Students can then opt to participate and apply for the ISSN's Environmental Leadership Development Programme and that happens in fourth year the programme is run by myself and Damien Nichols, our school's permaculturist. We run a lot of different practicals in our outdoor classroom, like sowing seeds, making bird boxes, weaving willow and even herbal tea tasting. And in between these practicals, we talk a lot about food security, the housing crisis and what biodiversity is and why it's important. Some of the actions we've taken this year has been contacting our local politicians and reducing, reducing our energy consumption. Uh, we also ran a Plant to Planet campaign which encourages students to take home trees and plant them in their own garden. This year we planted 658 trees and over the last three years we've planted just over 1,800. We found that we had an over-reliance on plastics to create projects in the school. Now we have moved towards more sustainable materials such as plywood. We encourage our students to think of the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, reduce the size of the project recycle some materials in making the project and reuse parts such as the motor and mechanisms etc. We hope that students will take this in their own designs going forward and be inspired by this to produce more sustainable designs in future. Education for sustainable development is actually happening in lots of different areas of the school. Our religion teachers Ashley Halley and Keena McLaughlin have a very strong peace and justice group and they're working with Worldwide Global Schools to foster global citizenship values in our school and, and raise awareness. One of our science teachers, Claire Adamson, has a class once a week with our fourth year students and they work on Eco UNESCO's Young Environmentalist Award. Ashley Halley has recently been appointed with a responsibility for education for sustainable development. Ashley's mapping out what we're doing in our school all across the different subject areas and creating a sustainability policy for the school which will help us to strategically plan for the future so that we make progress from year to year. While we're not a sustainable school just yet, we are really working hard towards those goals. We have huge uh, initiatives taking place, bringing in teachers from other schools where we train them on on-site here in our school at Art School Namara. This is something that we're really proud of and we know that it's making a real difference as these teachers bring all that knowledge and learning back to their own school and thereby setting the seeds for change within their own school community.